In this movie, we're going to continue along our exploration of the grouping function in Crystal. We've already learned how to sort our groups, organize our groups, even specify the exact order that we need. But now let's talk about different types of fields. Go ahead and click on the Design tab. And let's go ahead and right click on our Group Header 2. Choose Change Group. And notice how we have a specified order. In this case, we're going to change the name and we're going to choose Revenue Date. Now notice the revenue data when we changed it is still in specified order. A specified order that doesn't make sense. In the previous example, we were looking at office names. And I guarantee you the date field is not going to look anything like those office names. So let's go ahead and choose in ascending order. Now you also have in specified order, in original order, same as before. Specified order with dates is a little tricky because for every day you can choose that as an actual order, which means you'll be spending a lot of time creating lists. It's easier to say is ascending or descending. In addition to our standard four options, dates allow us to group even further. In some cases, if you have large amounts of transactions, millions a day, let's say, it would make sense, in this case, to see a million transactions standing in front of you per day as a group. We can click this menu here. This gives us, for each day, for each week, for each two weeks, each half month, month, quarter, half year, etc., etc. We even get down to the second or minute AM, PM, depending on the type of transactions you're looking to group by. Now, Crystal uses the standard Gregorian calendar month, meaning there's no special broadcast calendar or ISO calendar. That you'd have to use a formula for, which we'll get into later. In this case, let's go ahead and choose each year and press OK. Go ahead and click on the Preview tab so we can see our handiwork. Notice we still have our main groups, our Group 1, East and West, and then we have Years. And this organizes the data by year for me. For example, if I want to see 2000, this will take me straight to 2000. Now let's make our lives a little bit easier here. Let's take our mouse, put it in the D of the Details section over here, and right click. And let's go ahead and hit Suppress No Drill Down. Now what we've got is a grouping by division first and then by year after that. And notice our summarize field, which is revenue amount, for each year. This is all, of course, based on the groupings that make sense to us and the purpose we intend to use the report for. If I was using a detailed report, obviously I'd probably stick to the more simple data format with all the details for a specific period. If I was looking to summarize the data for an exec, I would probably use something like this. Of course, we're not quite there yet in terms of being an actual readable, usable report, but we're getting closer. The only thing to remember about groups is, go ahead and click on the Design tab, they can be as complicated or simple as you design. For example, if I needed to insert a group, I would simply go up to the Insert menu, like so, click, and choose Group. From here, I would choose Office name, let's say. And we'll leave it in ascending order, not make it too complicated, and press OK. Notice how it inserts an office name. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click on the revenue amount summary field, copy, and paste, and drag my mouse where I want it to paste, and simply click. This will make a little more sense in a little bit. I'm also going to copy this name up here and paste it next to my revenue amount. Notice the simple drag and drop functionality. Now, we haven't really cleaned it up or lined it up yet, but this should illustrate the point. Now, my years have additional drill downs as well. Notice in 1999 on the East Coast, my only office was Charlotte. And as I scroll down to 2002, it was Charlotte and Tennessee, and then Charlotte, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. And then, of course, I get a nice little summary here by year of what I'm looking at. Now, you can jump around the report by clicking on Charlotte in the year or whatever you happen to be looking for. That pretty much sums up the basics of grouping. You can experiment around and choose what works for you or what works best, just knowing that you can change any order to pretty much anything you can imagine.